Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, understanding logarithms. In this video, we're going to look at how you use your calculator to find the logarithm value of a certain base. All right, I'm going to use a TI-84, and here's what that looks like. Here's my TI-84 plus um, TI calculator, graphing calculator. And, you know, the calculator you're using might be a different setup, but I just want to show you this basically how we can find the logarithm of any base number of any value. In other words, we're looking for a to the what power equals x. Okay? So, let's think about this. Here's an example. We know that 5 to the third power is 125, right? That's an exponential um, form of an equation or a function. Now let's switch that around and write it in log form. And so, log base 5 um, of 125. We want to know the log of 125 if the base is 5. In other words, 5 to the what power is 125. Now we know the answer should be 3 because that's what that is right there, right? So on my calculator, how do you do that? Well, again, different calculators do it in different ways, but what we do here is we hit the math button and it gives us a little menu of certain mathematical um, calculations that we can do. Now I, I know ahead of time that if I scroll down on my list it turns out that it is going to be this a function here. This is log of a certain base. Okay, I hope you can read that. Log of a certain base. So that's going to be my a value there and I'm going to select that and notice how it has a blinking cursor there. Okay, so that's my base. In this case I want to put a 5 there. So I type in 5 and then I use this right cursor here to get it, the cursor blinking into the value area, which we know has to be 125, 125. And then it's looking for more numbers, of course, but I'm done. So log base 5 of 125. All right, on this calculator, that's how you do that. Let's go ahead and hit Enter, which gives us the answer. And yep, the answer should be 3. All right, that's the process I'm going to show you for these kinds of problems, so let's try a few examples. I'd like you to try these four examples here, 13 through 16, and then I will show you um, how you do that on my calculator. Go ahead. All right, let's try to be accurate with the calculator now. It says log base 2 of 4.1. All right, so I hit the math button, and I can scroll down to find the A choice, or I can do alpha A. And now it's waiting for my base. So it's the base, 2. Type in 2, move the cursor over to the value area. That would be 4.1. 4.1. I'm done with that, and hit enter. All right, to the nearest thousandth, so it would be 2.036. 2.036. All right, let's clear and look at the next one. This is log 38. Now, if there's no base number showing, what is the base? That's right. This is a shortcut for base 10 since it's such a common base in our counting system, base 10. Make sure that you put a 10 there in your brain. So, log base 10 of 38. So again, let's get to the log base function. So we put a 10 right there and we want to put a 38 in our value area. So 38 and enter. 1.57, uh, how about how 1.580? All right, round to three decimal places, 580. All right, next. Log base 2 of 1.8. All right, let's get our log function back. Log base 2 and put a 1.8 there inside the parentheses. And what did you get? To the nearest thousandths, it's 0.8479. So how about 
0 0.850 log base 10 of 45. All right, let's get our log function going here of a certain base that's going to be base 10. And we're looking at 45. Log base 10 of 45, enter. And did you get 1.653? 1 1.653. Here are those answers one more time. And it's a matter of becoming familiar with your own calculator, probably a graphing calculator or scientific calculator, and that'll come in handy. So the next video is going to be evaluating logarithmic expressions. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.